Gina, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just have a discussion video for you and you can probably guess what the discussion is going to be about because it's what we've all been talking about all week and I'm actually really excited to record this video. I had some ideas and some thoughts on it last night, Wednesday night, as I was getting ready for bed and of course I couldn't record. So. I have a bunch of bullet notes, so if I'm looking down, it's because of my bullet notes. I don't like scripting videos, so I didn't script things out because I don't do good with scripted videos. But this is something that I wanted to talk about and make a video about and be a part of the conversation. So if you are unaware, which most people are aware by now, YouTube has decided to demonetize small channels if you do not meet certain criteria, and that sucks. It really sucks and it's not it it's not a bad thing because of the money it's a sad thing because of all of the other stuff like it's not necessarily just because of the monetization of videos because a lot of us smaller channels aren't really making money off YouTube anyway but it's more so the feeling that you aren't accepted in the YouTube community and that the idea that we could lose half of the tools that we're used to using, such as thumbnails and scheduling videos, which would suck a lot because I use custom thumbnails and schedule almost all of my videos. So those things would suck, but it's not about the money and it really kind of irritates me when these bigger YouTubers are thinking that everyone is upset because it's about the money when it's not. So that is kind of what's going on this week in the YouTube realm and I specifically want to talk about what's been going on in the booktube realm because it's been amazing. So first just kind of a little bit about my channel. I started doing booktube videos and YouTube videos in November of 2014 and I started my channel because I wanted to be a part of a community. I wanted to feel like I was part of a community and feel like I had a voice and something to say about something that I love which is books. That is why most of us are on booktube and it has been fantastic. I love this community. I love making videos. I love talking books. Some of my closest friends now are because of booktube and also the book blogging community so it's just it's a fantastic community and because of the demonetization that YouTube is doing it's made the community closer I think and that's really kind of what I want to talk about and just kind of get into it so again I'm sure everyone is aware Tuesday night everyone started getting that dreadful email that's not pleasant to read and I first saw it on Twitter. I didn't see the email first because I don't check that email as often and for whatever reason I've stopped getting notifications for it. So I saw it on Twitter and it was like okay what's YouTube doing now because there's been issues with YouTube and the monetization for a while. And it was a really sad night on Twitter. Everyone was kind of devastated and just not really positive or or their happy selves with good reason because it's kind of made all of us feel like we don't belong, which is not the case. We do, just not in the way YouTube wants us to anymore. And so Tuesday night was very hard heartbreaking for me seeing all my friends and then a ton of other people that I do follow that this hit and it's just it was very sad and I woke up Wednesday and things were a little cheer cheerier a little more bright and it's just what's happened since then has been amazing and it kind of sucks that I haven't been able to be a part of it because I've been busy but I'm planning to definitely go through all of the various threads tonight and share the love and support that people have been sharing and giving and it's been amazing. So that brings me to Wednesday and Wednesday was awesome. Booktube came together to support everyone and to love everyone and the fact that even the bigger booktubers are 
stepping up to help support the smaller ones by creating threads that small channels can s promote their channels on and making it easy for everyone to find new booktubers to follow and potentially become friends with is amazing. And just the positivity and everything surrounding it is just so great and I just, I love it. I love it. I came home last night and throughout the day whenever I would get a few minutes I would look at my notifications or I would look on YouTube and just seeing everybody sharing other people's channels and talking about hey this person only has this many hours before they hit the the, uh, the quota I guess it is technically before they hit that like hey let's just start putting their videos on in the background or this person only needs this many more subscribers let's go help them out and all of the various threads there are a ton of threads out there I have put my own channel up on a few of them and I can't wait to go back into the them and find more YouTubers, booktubers specifically, to follow and share the support as well. Again, I'm planning on doing that this weekend and I'm actually really excited to do it. I definitely need to get back into watching booktube videos more. Last year kind of sucked. It wasn't a very good year for me personally, like in the YouTube booktube realm, but I'm really excited for this year and what it's going to bring. So that's just kind of another thing that I wanted to mention is the positivity that came from Wednesday in the booktube community and staying positive in negative times like this. Yeah, it's logical to be upset and to be frustrated, but we shouldn't let that get us down. I'll admit at one point on Tuesday, I did catch myself thinking like, do I even want to continue making videos? Like, again, so again, it isn't the monetization exactly that is making everybody kind of freak out and be upset. It's the taking away of the tools, which hopefully they won't be doing. I have seen some things that kind of indicate that that isn't going to be the case, that we will still have access to thumbnails and scheduling videos and other aspects of the YouTube Partnership Program. Those are my main two things that I'm worried about. Everything else is, I can live without it. I don't want to, but I could. So hopefully they won't take those away. That would be great. But then waking up Wednesday to the overwhelming positivity from everyone actually got me thinking more creatively. And I have ideas and different kinds of videos that I want to do for my channel and ways I want to try to grow my channel. And I just, I want to start making content for me, which is what I've always done. Just, I really want to get back into making more creative content. I kind of took a lot of time off in 2017 for personal reasons and I miss it. I really miss it and the positivity helps. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say on this subject is that we just keeping positive and showing support for everybody in the community is fantastic and we need to stick to that. We need to continue this throughout the whole year and beyond, not just in this month that YouTube has given us to try to keep our monetization and our YouTube partnership program. It needs to continue and not just be a one-time thing because that's what community is about and that's what BookTube is about and that is really the main reason why I joined BookTube in the first place was because it seemed like a great community to be a part of and a positive community to be, to be a part of and that's not always the case but like everything, there's there's bound to be some drama and some hardships. And the fact that this is drama outside of the booktube realm and kind of a more broad drama, we're all banding together to stick together and that's amazing. So that's really all I have to say on this subject. I didn't look at my notes at all and I'm probably gonna think of like 10 other things that I wanted to talk about after I get done with this video. So I am going to end my video with a quote and I think this is something that I want to start doing with all of my videos, ending with some kind of positivity quote because hearing positive words and being like real upbeat can help someone start thinking about other positive things. So I am going to start ending my videos with a quote, I hope you don't mind. And today's quote I found, I saw it and I just started thinking about it and it made me think of everything that's been going on in the YouTube realm and the fact that the booktube community has kind of rised up to the challenge of 
being supportive to everybody and I just I really like this quote so today's quote is from Elvis Presley and it's when things go wrong don't go with them I really love it and it fits kind of perfectly with with everything that's been happening this week so that is all I have for you if you have anything to add to the conversation please leave a comment i'd love to have a conversation in the comments about this but try to keep it kind of positive and upbeat again it's it's perfectly fine to be frustrated and upset but try to see a positive light in it can be hard but it is possible and with that that is all i have for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having a fantastic day and i'll see you guys next time bye